good battle. Uh, both teams uh, really you know, a lot of respect for Michigan coming in, the way they play in the year. Uh, they're coming off a loss. Everybody thought they were going to be different. Whether they've been good all year, you know, and today was the same kind of game. And proud of the guys for battling, playing hard. It's a lot of one on one plays when you play these guys. Uh, our defense battled really, really well. Did give up the, probably the difference in the game outside of our the field position issues in the first half with the wind and us not being able to flip the field. It seemed like we played a little uphill. Punting issues, you know, got us with field position. Uh, right before the end of the third quarter, we didn't manage to drive. And a week ago, we ran it. Went in the fourth quarter still. We came out, we threw one, punted one more time into the wind and gave them a short field when they scored to make it 20. I didn't like the way we managed that drive, but our guys battled hard. Defense was fighting, fighting, did give up. I think the difference game was the run game. Our kicking errors on the punt team got us today a little bit. Um, but again, I appreciate the way the kids battled. We took care of the ball. We tried to get in the fourth quarter. Uh, couldn't get a stop. I think the end, we're going to have them third and what looks like seven. We get a late hit. We jump off sides, give them first and five. So defense have been great to finish a little bit better, but a great defensive effort. Offense did some things they needed to against a great defense and just wasn't good enough today. Michigan's a really good team, and we congratulate those guys. They're, they're a strong football team. As far as the, the punt game uh, did go, what happened on the, on the two blocks and then just overall execution? Well, again, they've been pretty good coming at it all year. And uh, so, uh, tell you what's taped, you know exactly. But bottom line, the way we block it, the guy, it's a guy, and we miscommunicated and didn't block a guy on one. I didn't see the second one personally where it came from. So, and, I, and even on the replay, I couldn't tell because of the angle. So, I don't know who busted. I know the first one where they got a hand on one, we had some miscommunication between a guard and a, one of our fullbacks here, who's there, but whatever. They, they did nothing new. They have a great punt returner. And they come at you and pump block and, and block it. So you got to you, you, you got to play both sides of the coin there. Tonight they uh, they got us and that's um, disappointing. I don't think we saw anything new. You know, they just outplayed us on that play. On that, uh, I guess on, on that third down where uh, Elkhorn kind of escaped the blitz and, and ran for thirty yards. What did you see on that? What was? Yeah, we were in position. It looked like we'd had some good pressure and. and uh, in coverage, and we just kind of lost, I think, a little bit of our rush lanes and integrity. He got out and uh, made a play. I think there's another example. I think one time they had a crossing route in position, kind of slipped, and the guy cut back. So we're in position a couple times, but you know, they got good football players and they made a play. Uh, but our guys, again, they, they, were, they were coming at him that play. Um, uh, that would have been a huge one to get, kind of let them off, off the hook, gave them some momentum there. And uh, a great credit to that kid. He made a heck of a play. I think they scored a play later. How do you think Rich handled just the elements? It's probably his first time playing in, in, in snow and- it Snow's in Dallas, freezing rain. <laughs> Not a Florida guy. Um, I mean, good. I mean, I, I thought in the, early in the <clears throat> third quarter, we took a couple shots into the wind, it got held up on him. But other than that, again, he didn't force any. I thought, he, you know, the ball came out at the very, very end. We're just trying to see if we could get lucky. Although it was two scores a minute ago and you couldn't see the field. Um, that ball came out of and I thought again he's played he's played so much better down the stretch and that that's a team that gets after the quarterback. We had a plan trying trying to help him. I know one time we had a great third down run that we popped it early in the third quarter, got called for holding. We had a hard tour. They won the third quarter. And um, outside of that it was a pretty good football game on our part and we just had a hard time getting going there. But I thought Rich played uh, good. I mean every play is gonna be challenged. He gave our guys a chance. I thought our receivers battled hard. It was tough elements out there. But we knew it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one game. We knew we needed to run the ball to keep some pressure off of our protection. And we're basically on our fourth right tackle and a freshman left tackle. And this is one of the best sacks teams in the country. So we had to do some things to, to take care of us. And what conservative football is just, you know, we had to take our shots. We had to take our shots. And we had to be smart to do some things to take care of Richard. I think Richard understood the plan. I think he came in with a lot of confidence in what we're trying to do. And I think he played very calm today. That's a great arena. It was tough elements. It was great defense. And, he can play better, but that was a solid game. He's getting so much better. Look in his eye, preparation. He's he's not off the chart yet, but he's, he continues to improve, and I'm very proud of him. He's doing well. When you guys got down in the goal line there after they um, kicked their field goal to get to 7-6, uh, just take us through the play calling a little bit. It looked like you guys started to run and then used uh, Rich on the – uh, on the quarterback keep. Did, did, yeah, we ran the first play. We, 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 we ran uh, one of our base plays, and it looked like they came off the edge and didn't honor him. 
So we kind of came back to it, and Peppers was, was there the next play. So we just kind of said, hey, you know, because he's a guy that once in a while in the, in the, in the run game, you, you know, you think he's a little bit more of a throw. He's not the running threat that, that, uh, that Xander would be. And so we just thought the play before it. So we basically just repeated the concept, said, hey, man, your choice, read it up. Because the first play was kind of designed to run it. The second play, he had the option, and, you know, he thought it was there, and he came in to play. And then on third down, I thought with the pressure where we were and as tight as it was, we needed points. I thought they would get upfield coming after the quarter. I think it was third and six or seven, and we tried to run an inside trap play, counter play. It just didn't work. Coach, it happened during the Penn State game. There were some breakdowns in the defense, gave us some big plays in the second half. What, what does it take? What's it going to take to keep from those breakdowns in the defense and giving up those big plays? Well, you know, first of all, it's a credit how good they're playing to start. At the same time, I think we're time of the year, and with our depth, we're still probably just a little thin where some of the wear and tear and volume and depth and, and coaches' confidence throughout the year of playing guys. So probably some things that happen week three, week four, week five, week six, probably are wearing and it affects our practice now. And we try to do things because you, you got to maintain toughness, how to tackle, how to block. There's a way you practice, but you can also over-practice, not be ready for the game. So I think some of us just stay slight, just drop off to some of the ones and twos. Probably playing the ones a little bit more than we need to, and it's kind of catching us at the end. Using Camion at, at running back and in the wild card ju or wildcat just to try to add that, that explosiveness back there. Yeah, and, and you know, again, we thought you know, you know, has been been out, Cole Guest has been out, you know, a couple of running backs, you know, Clyde Newton had me going. You know, we're kind of down on backs, so to take, we thought maybe a little bit of a workload off of Devine, uh, Devontae Williams had an ankle, and so we just thought to take a little bit of workload and try to get him some touches. Anything else? All right, guys, thanks for being here. Ladies.